Hey guys, what's up? We have been thinking a lot about Transformers lately and so we made this video about the 20 biggest Transformers from Michael Bay live action movies. We know that there are quite a few size comparison videos about Transformers but we will do it differently and with explanations on these different metallic life forms. In this list, Optimus Prime did not even make it to the cut alone and had to be in a combined form with Jetfire to be included and now you know the magnitude of such a comparison. Also the pet driller transformer of Shockwave never made it to any of the other videos and we will bring justice to it by putting it here. Just a hint, it's way up the scale. But before you continue on with the video, do like, share and subscribe for more related content and check out our channel as we have more than 80 other videos. Oh yeah, smash that notification bell for regular updates. Anyway, here are the 20 biggest Transformers from live action movies. Number 20. Megatron Megatron aka Galvatron is the leader of the Decepticons and is the main antagonist of the first film, the secondary antagonist in the next two films, the tertiary antagonist in the fourth while reborn as Galvatron and prior to the events of the movies, Megatron came across the Fallen who corrupted him and convinced him that the All Spark should be his and therefore became a tyrannical ruler. Throughout the movie series, his design differs but his height remains at 35 feet or 10.7 meters. Number 19. Shockwave Shockwave was a peerless Decepticon scientist with deadly efficiency and a cold devotion to logic. He was also one of the deadliest Decepticon assassins that Megatron has at his disposal. He was said by some to be the only Decepticon who could defeat Megatron in combat. Shockwave is a killing machine like few others, one of the very few who could rival Megatron. In Michael Bay movies, Shockwave is stated to be over 40 feet tall or almost 12.2 meters. Number 18. Optimus Prime slash Jetfire Optimus Prime is the leader of the Autobots and long ago he was the humble leader of Cybertron's science division which studied the All Spark. When Megatron was corrupted by the Fallen, Optimus discovered that he was the last of the dynasty of the Primes, hidden away when the Fallen destroyed their lineage. So he became the leader of the Autobots. Alone, Optimus is only 28 feet tall but combined with Jetfire in Revenge of the Fallen, he stands at 40 feet tall or 12.2 meters. Number 17. The Original Primes The Primes are an ancient line of ancestors of the Transformers that rule over a vast empire in the galaxy. These beings could not transform but they and their transforming descendants possess powers beyond that of the average Cybertronian. The dynasty ruled Cybertron and protected the All Spark, replenishing it with the energy harvested from stars. The original Primes were not named in the movie series but were of the same stature as the Fallen being in between 40 and 45 feet tall. Number 16. Infernicus Infernicus was a powerful semi-robotic demon combiner that is formed from the Infernicons, the bloodthirsty warriors of Quintessa. When Quintessa captured Optimus Prime, Infernicus was fully combined and grabbed Prime's head so as to face him towards Quintessa. In the final battle, Megatron commanded the Infernicons, ordering them to combine into Infernicus. He was later killed by Optimus Prime. It was later stated that Infernicus stood at 42 feet tall or almost 13 meters. Number 15. The Fallen The Fallen is a fictional robot supervillain in a Transformers robot superhero franchise. According to Hasbro, he was formerly known as Megatronus Prime. Megatronus was one of the original 13 Primes created by Primus and the founder of the Decepticons in many storylines. In Revenge of the Fallen, he was seen after the Matrix and about to end humanity by draining the sun's power until he was defeated by Optimus Prime. The official height of the Fallen is 13 meters or 42 feet tall. Number 14. Scrapper Scrapper is a Constructicon scout that transforms into a front load shovel. When combined with his fellow Constructicons, he becomes the right arm of Devastator. He may also share a name with another robot of the same model who saw action in the Battle of Egypt or yet a third one who saw action in the Battle of Chicago. While standing at his two legs, Scrapper is 45 feet tall or 13.7 meters in height. Number 13. Jetfire Jetfire is the name of several fictional characters from the Transformers franchise. He is almost always depicted as an Autobot with flight capabilities as a jet or a space shuttle as an alternate mode. But in the movies, he was seen as an aging and miserable old Decepticon who changed sides with the Autobots. 
this transformer could shapeshift into an SR-71 Blackbird which is a very large air vehicle and that is why in his normal form, he stands at 50 feet tall or 15.2 meters in height. Number 12. Grindor Grindor was a massive hulking Decepticon who like most other Decepticons was loyal to Megatron. He was a master strategist and a close combat specialist. Grindor ha can predict his opponent's next move before they know it themselves. It has reached a point where it is less planning and more instinct on his part. But even so, he was still defeated by Optimus Prime in a 3-on-1 battle alongside Megatron and Starscream. In the movie, he is around 50 feet tall or 15.2 meters. Number 11. Strafe Strafe was among the Dinobots freed from Lockdown's ship and subsequently yielded to Optimus Prime's command during the battle in Hong Kong. Strafe aided Bumblebee as he battled Stinger. The two fought on Strafe's back until Stinger was defeated and Strafe got to munch on Stinger's head. Strafe transforms into a gigantic two-headed, fire-breathing, metal dragon-like pterosaur. But in his normal form, Strafe was 57 feet tall and the smallest of the Dinobots. Number 10. Long Haul Long Haul's body type was one of the early Constructicon drones used to build Star Harvesters. One of the Long Haul joined the Fallen's original Decepticons. It was him who discovered humans on Earth, remarking there were a number of these breakable creatures out there. Long Haul served as the Decepticon's ground-based heavy hitter with his long-range charged grenades and flamethrower. He stands at 65 feet tall or almost 20 meters. Number 9. Dragonstorm Dragonstorm is a beastly three-headed dragon mighty gestal form of the legendary 12 Guardian Knights who opposed Quintessa. In 484 AD, the Knights formed Dragonstorm at Merlin's behest to wipe out the Saxons, winning the battle for Camelot. The 12 Guardian Knights were at the least as tall or taller than Optimus Prime, but when combined into Dragonstorm, the mighty metallic beast stands twice as tall, at least more than 70 feet tall, with a wingspan of around 300 feet or more than 90 meters wide. Number 8. Slug Slug was another one among the Dinobots trapped aboard Lockdown's ship until the Autobots detached that section for their own use. Slug was among the Dinobots hiding out with the other Autobots in Kate's junkyard. He transforms into a gigantic Triceratops, and later in the movie, when their refuge was discovered, he joined Grimlock in bursting from the ground to attack a convoy of TRF vehicles. Slug was bigger than Strath, at 71 feet tall, or 21.6 meters. Number 7. Demolisher Demolisher was a very large Constructicon transformer that was seen in the opening scenes of The Revenge of the Fallen. He was the one predicting that the Fallen shall rise again. This Transformer was hiding in Shanghai and was hunted down by the Autobots and their human allies. As a military expert, he is no doubt one of the most valued members of the Decepticon army. Demolisher was almost identical to Scavenger and he was stated to be 74 feet tall or 22.5 meters. Number 6. Scavenger Scavenger was another large Constructicon and transformed into a Terex ONK RH400 excavator. When combined with his fellow Constructicons, he forms part of the upper torso of Devastator. During the climactic battle in Egypt between the Autobots, their human allies, and the Fallen's Decepticons, Scavenger appeared in a quarry with the other Constructicons before merging into Devastator. He is 75 feet tall or 22.8 meters in height. Number 5. Grimlock Grimlock is a Dinobot with a rather rough and tough attitude. One of the most powerful warriors alive his general approach to a problem is to smash it first, worry about the specifics later. Grimlock was a prisoner aboard Lockdown's ship until the Autobots detached that section and flew it to China. He was then freed and battled with Optimus Prime until finally agreeing to help the Autobots against Lockdown and the other Decepticons. He is 84 feet tall or 25.6 meters. Number 4. Scorn Scorn is an Autobot Dinobot from the Age of Extinction portion of the live-action film series, Continuity Family. <laughs> Scorn is what happens when you combine a destructive war machine with an ancient prehistoric predator. He can take the form of what appears to be a Spinosaurus. Although he is the demolitions expert, Scorn is the least intelligent of the Dinobots. His robot mode resembles a knight with a tail forming a powerful spear. Scorn is 87 feet tall or 26.5 meters. Number 3. Devastator Devastator is an immensely powerful warrior and in the sense that the combination of the Constructicons merge into a being is impressive. 
whether he's formed from 6 to 9 Constructicons, Devastator is a giant among giants. He is in fact so huge that his body simply cannot support itself when carrying his weight upright, forcing him to lumber on all foes. Devastator is named after Cybertron's unwithstandable and terrifyingly destructive Devastator wins. In The Revenge of the Fallen, he is stated to be 108 feet tall or 33 meters. Number 2. Driller The largest subterranean life form native to Cybertron, drillers are not to be taken lightly. Enormous multi tentacled bees capable of burrowing through the ground or through buildings with ease, they are capable of great destruction and carnage on any scale. Naturally, all these qualities have endeared them to Shockwave, who keeps one as a pet and a personal transport. According to the special effects team, the driller is the length of three football fields. That would make it roughly 1080 feet long or 330 meters long. Number 1. Unicron According to the Transformers Mythos, Unicron's origins come from literally before the dawn of time when he was created by the One as a representation of pure chaos. Along with Unicron, his twin brother Primus was created. Unicron is not like other Transformers, he is so gargantuan that he can transform into a mechanical planet himself. In the last night, although not seen in his entirety, but only the horns, Unicron was said to be the planet Earth, therefore putting his size at more than 12,000 kilometers. So this brings us to the end of the list, and do like, share and subscribe for more of these monster, Transformers and Kaiju content.